God has a purpose, even in the hard times. Pharaoh was oppressing God's own children. God said, I'm gonna make his heart stubborn so I can multiply my miraculous signs and wonders in the land of Egypt. But God allowed his children to go through heartache just so he could show his miracle signs and wonders. Have you seen a miracle in your life? Which you realize I had nothing to do with that. Thank God immediately. And loves when we give him all the glory. Somebody told me, he said, the best thing that you could do in your prayers is to bless God. You bless God. <laughs> when we pray, we ask God for the blessing. A lot of times he will allow these things to happen to us in our lives just so we can give him the glory. When we're going through hard times, it's easy to forget that. We think when God isn't there, God is just forsaken us, he's left us. It's okay to be angry with God. I encourage you, if you are angry with God, sh tell him that you're angry with him, but it's your frustrations with God. I mean, y'all gotta be talking. Y'all gotta be close. That's what God loves. When we're real with him, God, man, one of the worst things you could do, if you praying, try to have one of them cute, pretty prayers. Talk one way around everybody else, but when we talk to God, it's nice, proper, articulate voice. And you talk to everybody else just like how you, how, you know what I'm saying, how we talking, you know what I'm saying? God, like, you real with them, but why you fake with me? You fake with me, that means like, I'm like a distant friend. I know you better than anybody else. I love you more than anybody else. More than you even love yourself. So why are you faking it with me? Be genuine and tell him how you feel. Now, I ain't gonna say curse his name, but I'm like, God, what is going on? You need to fix this. I've done it. After that, after I got that out, so close to God. I, I felt his presence. And I didn't even plan this. I don't know where it's coming from. This is just God. If you get close and, by the way, I'm in God's presence. Well, I, even, my, I wouldn't even intend on getting God's pre presence comes peace. And not only that, he has a purpose for it, God planned it in advance. No, I allowed this to happen because I have a plan. I'm up to something and you just can't see what I'm up to. But if you get close to me, real with me, and get, it don't make sense, but peace of mind to get through it. A peace that surpasses all understanding. So anybody else going through this, they all stressed out and out of whack, but how can I be joyful in the midst of a hard time? And then pray for revelation and to then see, okay, God, what is your purpose? What are you doing here? Because you're doing something here because for where you want to take me will require me to be disciplined, to be patient, to, to trust in God. Oh, you're trying to elevate me through this. Okay, and I'm going to need these things to do that. And all of you plan this in advance and all the hard times I'm going through has a purpose. Okay, thank you, God. God, thank you. The Israelites are coming back to back. The Israelites just kept serving and putting their head down, not knowing that I was going to take them from their slavery and from slavery and put them in the land of milk or honey. They didn't even know scripture in Galatians 6, 9. It says, let us not grow weary in well-doing, for in due time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Do not give up in the midst of hard times. Keep going. Keep doing the good things. Keep loving people. Keep loving God. Because in the due time, you will reap a harvest if you do not give up.